So this is a before we started the work and I'm going to show you an afterwards in a second. But we repoint these walls and we redo this roof using our new liquid system. You can see here we've raked out all the walls, all the railings are down over here, the scaffolding around the outside. Nicely raked out. This joint across here where the new roof goes in is the most important thing. At the moment we haven't really tried to work on the tiles on the roof because we're too interested in getting the pointing done around the edges. We've got bricks like just there and there that have got to be uh, chopped out. But we've got to this stage now where we've got to start exploring what's going on underneath. And as you can see, there is lots of problems underneath this. Although you know, when you walked over the tiles to begin with, it looked good, uh, it wasn't that good underneath. So we start to remove all the tiles. Now we're doing this in the heart of the summer. And as far as we know, the roof isn't leaking underneath. There's some water ingress around the walls on the outside, but that's all to do with the parapet walls. So we've pretty much got most of the stones up. We have to go around and see what we're going to do with all this asphalt. Um, there's bubbles that have appeared inside the asphalt uh, all over the place here. And some of them have got water inside them. So we've obviously got to deal with the water inside the asphalt before we can do with anything else. We've now ground it all down cleared all the areas which uh, had bubbles in them. If you look at this, you can see how much we've done in the way of preparation. The white material you saw over the top, you can see it's just drying where it's gone down the divots, uh, is a primer. And if, if you look at this, it, it looks very, very shiny. It's got rid of all the grit. It's made it perfect for going over the top of the roof with. The windowsill here, um, you can see, it's got a, a, a strip that was put on the front, which was stopping us from getting up underneath this. And on a windowsill, it's if the doors aren't coming out, um, and just before I carry on with that lovely chase on the left-hand side there, really nice and deep. But if the wind, if the doors and the windowsill aren't coming out, we need to make sure we get right up underneath this as tight as possible, because that's normally where problems occur. If the windows and doors were coming out we would have gone right underneath. So again, good example of the chase. You can see we've gone around and we put our first material around the edges. I'm showing you here one of the sticky back tapes we have for joining over joints. This makes joints which are in the asphalt flexible over the top just in case there's any more expansion. Historic cracks will all be taped with that kind of tape. Uh, again, preparation is uh, being shown just here. We're now going over the, we've been around all the edges, we're now going over to, to lay the main body. I've shown this many, many times. Now, there's a hole just by this gentleman's foot just here, and they're not that deep, so it was a discussion on what to do with them. We decided that what we would do is just fill them with the, uh, the, the roofing material and continue over the top of them. After all, this is going to be waterproof, and that's the whole point. Structurally, the whole thing's really quite structurally sound. So, first section's done, nicely up, um, no extra flashings to be done, all this has to be done is pointed, we're up and around and under, now we continue across the roof and get the whole roof finished. Before we go over it with um, the, the tiles, we've sprinkled uh, sand on top of a very light coat of the roofing material so that we can get a grip with the sand. Here, we're going around now making sure that we're working with a clean environment. So all the dust that has collected over the period of time when we did all the pointing on the walls. So this is all being repointed all the way around. At the moment, we haven't pointed in this gap around here. Um, that's going to be something that we're going to do uh, pretty much at the last point. And again, here, you can see that we've just done that. That's after it's all been cleaned. We wanted that to be nice and clean and nice and a nice crisp edge. And you can see here that the area that we're going to adhere the tiles to has got a nice grip to it, a nice sand finish. So laying out the tiles is something that we found in the past quite, um, not difficult, but you have to do it each one individually. They're, 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 at the moment they're going around sorting out the ones which are slightly wonky when they've been made, manufacturing problems, some of them might have dirt on them. The glue um, expands, so we mustn't get the glue too close to the edges, and you just saw him there uh, dealing with that, making sure it was central. Each tile is put down individually. And here you can see this is a fantastic finish to this. Um, 
you know, we were really, really pleased. The customer was pleased with this. Uh, they've just got to go around and paint the, the, the window sills around the edges now. But that's worked out really nice. And they've got a lovely flexible system which was overlaid on the old uh, asphalt roof. So we didn't have to open up the roof and strip it all. All repointed, railings up, ready for all the plants and everything else to come and be put on top. Hopefully you found this interesting. Speak soon.